In this video, we're gonna have a look at the DJI Mavic Mini. Let's have a look. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the size and weight of this drone. It actually weighs exactly 249 grams, and there's a very good reason for that. As you may or may not be aware, a lot of countries have a lot of regulations around drones that are heavier than 250 grams. And so DJI has made a drone that is exactly 249 grams so that you can take this drone to most places in most countries and not encounter any issues. And of course, if anyone does ask any questions, the actual weight of the drone is printed on the side of it so that you can just show them that and not have any issues. Obviously, if someone like a security guard or something asks you to stop filming at a certain location or says that you can't bring your drone there then it's just easier not to bring it even if technically you're allowed to. Next up the propellers. So the drone has eight tiny propellers that it uses to fly. I personally have the fly more combo kit which I absolutely recommend getting it if you want to do any sort of cinematography work with this lens. If you don't have that kit you're basically sabotaging yourself. The kit includes extra batteries and a, a charging dock and all these cool things that allow you to fly for longer. So the drone actually comes with a few extra propellers and some screws and a little screwdriver so you can replace them if they break. They do seem to be quite fragile so I would be careful with them. I personally bought this little band that you put around the drone and you can actually tuck the propellers inside of it which stops them from moving about when you have it stored in your bag. They're not super expensive. I absolutely recommend getting one of them just because you don't want to break your propellers. It's just a bit of a headache, especially if you've already replaced them once. So, you know, just, you know, just get one of those bands or don't, I guess, I don't know. You can do whatever you want, you're, a, you're an adult. Now, these propellers are actually placed on four different arms, and all you have to do to get flying is you have to fold them out, and there's actually directions printed on stickers that are on the actual drone, so that you know which way to fold and which ones to fold first. It takes like five seconds. So I just want to mention one of the downsides of the very, very low weight of the drone. And that is the fact that its ability to fly in windy conditions is going to be affected. Obviously, you can't have everything. You can't have a, a tiny drone, which is light and also can handle strong winds. You have to pick. And in this case, heavy gusts of wind are going to affect the drone's path. So do bear that in mind. Linda, come here, girl. I think she's scared of the camera. Who's that good girl? Oh, by the way, if you found this video to be enjoyable or informative so far, please make sure to leave a like down below. That basically tells YouTube that this is a good video and it will recommend it to other people so that they can learn about this pretty fantastic drone. And now, back to the video. Next up is the drone remote. Now, the remote itself is about the size of the drone. It doesn't have a built-in screen, so you're gonna have to use something like this to control your drone with. Before you do go flying or before you do buy this drone, please make sure to check that your phone actually fits in the remote. I personally use the iPhone S6 Plus. It's a pretty big one and it just about fits in the remote. Though it's pretty obvious that having a smaller phone would mean a much more comfortable fit. Next up, let's talk range. So DJ claims a four kilometer video transmission distance. In reality, you're not necessarily gonna get that in most places, maybe in the countryside where there's less interference. You're definitely not gonna get that in an urban environment, nor should you have your drone four kilometers away from you in any kind of environment, really. I personally prefer to keep the drone um, a few hundred feet away from me tops. I don't like to fly it any further just because I wanna be able to see it at any given moment. And this is something that's especially important with something like the DJI Mavic Mini, because it doesn't have that many sensors. It just has sensors on the bottom and that's it. Also, when talking about the sensors, it's important to mention the return to home function. Basically what this is, is you can press a button and the drone shoots up in the air to a predetermined height, which you can change. And then it flies back to the point at which it took off and then it lands. Now, the reason why it shoots up is because it wants to avoid running into trees. So if it just shoots up and then it flies to you, you know, if it goes up say 60 meters, it's gonna avoid pretty much any tree. The problem, is if you're flying underneath something so say if you're flying underneath a tree canopy or underneath wires if you accidentally do press this button it will shoot up and it will fly straight into the wires it will fly straight into the trees because it does not have any sensors except for the bottom which uses the land so you know be careful when you use that function I guess 
The next thing I want to talk about is the Find My Drone feature. Now, what this feature is, is basically if you at any point you lose the drone, you have this tool at your disposal to be able to track it. So not only will your phone show you where the last position of the drone was, but if you actually activate the Find My Drone feature, the drone itself starts to beep loudly and to flash lights so that even if it's fallen in some bushes somewhere or in some overgrowth, you can still find it, hopefully. Okay, so next up is battery. And it's at this point that I absolutely have to emphasize that you want to buy the Fly More Combo Kit. It obviously adds a bit to the cost of the drone, but hear me out. You get two extra batteries, a charging port, but the reason why you want the kit is because of the extra batteries, because one battery by itself can give you 15, 20 minutes of power, uh, flying time tops. That's not really a lot, especially if you've just found a cool uh, scene that you want to shoot, or if the lighting is just perfect, but you're running out of power. You want to have the extra batteries, it's an absolute must. Next up is the camera and image quality. So you can film a 2.7K video with this drone, which may not sound like a lot, but bear in mind this is a camera with propellers on it. It's, there's going to be some level of compromise, especially when you think about its weight. Now, even though 2.7K may not sound like a lot, the image quality is actually really good. And this leads us to the highlight of the actual video. I've prepared a montage. Of course I have. <laughs> We're doing a drone video. So I'm currently visiting family in Romania. And I was in my hometown recently and I actually managed to shoot quite a bit of footage in the local park. So here you go, have a look. Alright, in conclusion, so what are my thoughts on this drone? Um, it's pretty great. I love it. I, I, I love the image quality. I love the fact that it's so portable. It basically fits in my pocket. It's quite affordable, or relatively so, you know, when we're talking about drones. If you want to get into uh, drone photography or videography, or if you want to spice up your videos a bit and be able to add some cool drone transitions, I would absolutely recommend that you get this drone. Now, if you do want to buy it, or if you want to see how much it costs in your country, I have affiliate links down below, where if you click on it, it gives you the option of multiple stores where you can pick and choose where you want to view the product. Also, if you want a more in-depth review of the drone, I have a longer, more in-depth article over at skiesaudio.com. There's a link down below for that as well. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. And this is the reason why I wake up so early every morning. Man, look at that. <laughs> so pretty.